Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today, boys, we're going to be doing something a bit different. We're going to be doing a tutorial video. So I see a lot of people asking, like, oh, how do you edit? Like, what type of, like, video, like, what type of software do you edit with? So I actually used to edit with ShareFactory, but I now edit with a software on my computer. And it's, it costs around $60 to $100, so it's kind of expensive. So if you want to edit on your PS4, ShareFactory is a built-in thing. Just go to the PS Store search up share factory and it should come up it's free easy to use and um yeah if you guys do enjoy this video please guys drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new also guys if you have any more questions just comment down below and yeah let's just get right into it peace out guys so i'm just going to do it pretty simple the easiest ways to do it so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit new project but for me i already have a project ready but i'll just show you how to do this so you're going to hit new project well, first of all, I'm just actually going to show you how to start getting clips into Share Factory. So if you guys take a look at your PS4 controller, before you start playing a game, I'm going to use Fortnite as an example. Say you just started the game, you're in the lobby, we're going to look at your share button, and you are going to double tap that share button. And when you double tap it, a little thing will pop up in the corner of your screen, and it'll just like be like, da ding make a little noise. <laughs> that was pretty cringe. And yes, that's how you know you have started the clip. Now the clip only lasts for 15 minutes, so... It'll tell you when the clip has ended, like a little thing will pop up and it'll say video clip saved to capture gallery or something like that. And then you'll know the clip has ended, so you need to re double tap the share button again in order to restart the clip again. So now you've clipped everything. Say you just want a Fortnite game, you clip the whole game. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to new project. It'll send you to this place. I usually just tap this. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the clip that you want. Usually since you'll have clipped multiple games, you'll want to like put them all in order. So what I do is click the game that you want. So I want this because this was first, this, and then this, and then hit start project. And as you can see, you just put it all into one giant clip for me, and it's all perfectly in order. So. What you're going to want to do now, if you don't want this little like intro, see it gives you this automatically. What you're going to want to do is you just want to hit X, split clip, square, delete clip, delete clip. Boom. You don't have that weird thing again. So now, I'm going to show you guys, say you're doing a Fortnite gameplay for example. I do a lot of Fortnite personally, and I don't edit on this anymore, but I used to, and so I know that it's actually very simple. What you guys are going to want to do, say you're editing, like, you don't want to see, like, all this that I'm just looting. You don't want to show any of this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the start where you don't want it. You're going to hit square. You're going to hit split clip, not trim clip. A lot of people think it's trim clip. It is not. It is split clip. So it's split clip. Now you'll get these two little buttons. You'll hit X, split clip. So as you can see, it's split right here. Look, it's not connected anymore. It's split right there. So now what you want to want to do, say I'm just going to do something simple for you. I say we want to edit this part where I'm gliding out. There'd be no reason to do that, but if you want to, you can. So I'm going to hit split clip again. Boom. It's been split. As you guys can see, it's not connected here. It's not connected here. So now what you're going to want to do is once you've split everything, you want to delete the clip that is not connected to this. So now hit square, confirm. So now that clip does no longer exist. So see, I'm in the battle bus. We're chilling. Some arena just dropped. And now it goes right to where I'm gliding. So nobody has to see all the boring part of me gliding. So yeah, pretty simple. You could do that. Like if you want to edit between kills, if maybe you wanted to edit out the part where you were just running around the map, maybe you wanted to get from kill to kill to kill. That'd be pretty simple. Just do the same technique, just apply it. So now guys, another, some other stuff that you could do with Share Factory is you're gonna wanna do square again. I've never used this, never used this, never used this, never used this. This I have used, so what you want to do, split the clip again. So let's just say I want to zoom in on this. So this clip is split, as you can see. So what you're going to want to do, hit square, then hit the pan and zoom on your split clip. And see if, you, if I want, I can split it all the way to there. Or, you know, somewhere outside here. So, yep. See, let's just say I want to zoom it in, like, about 200%. Boom. Hit the X button to confirm. And, yeah. As you guys can see, now it's zoomed in for me. 
So maybe if you want to zoom in, like, say, let's just do this. Let's just say if you wanted to zoom in on, like, maybe, like, me drinking the shield there, boom. Now it's going to zoom in on me drinking the shield. Pretty dumb. You would never do that, but yeah, if you wanted to. Maybe if you wanted to zoom in onto your Victory Royale, something like that. So now, what you're also going to want to do is Time Bender. This allows the time to go slow. So what you're going to want to do with this same concept, just split it. Split here. I'm just going to put this in slow motion. So now, as you can see, I've split this. It's not connected. And it's square, hit Time Bender. And then say we want to make it really slow. Okay, so watch how slow this is going to be. So, And now it's in slow motion. So say if you want to do something funny, like you barely got sniped and you the guy barely missed the snipe, you could just do it like that and you, it could, you could show that he barely missed the snipe. Or say you want to do something even more funnier is you want to split the clip again. And let's do... How about we do... Um, time bender. And then how about we do it at 8 times speed? So this is going to be funny. It's going to make it super fast. Ready? <laughs> I don't know why you would do that. I've never really used a time bender. I've sometimes used it, but never really used it ever. But I mean, you can if you want. It's up to you guys. I'm just trying to help you guys use Share Factory. So, now what you're going to want to do is we've done over the time bender. We've gone over the pan and zoom. Okay. Um, here's the clip volume. If you want to turn the clip down a bit. Nothing too fancy. Now the clips just see a bit quieter. I don't know why you would ever want to do that. The clips are usually the perfect, like, they're not really, like, that bad. They're actually, like, the perfect, like, they're the perfect, like, um, volume. So, like, they're not that bad. I mean, if you guys want to turn them down, you can, but I, I personally never turn them down when I use Share Factory. So now, we've gone over everything in the square button. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit the X button. There's more stuff. So what you can do is you can add a clip. So say, like I just said, you've clipped multiple games. Maybe you just won one, you want to add another one. So what you're going to do, is you're going to hit square. No, sorry, you're going to hit X. You're going to add a clip. Let's say we wanted to get this clip of just me sitting in the lobby. Bop. So now it's just me farming mats. Me sitting in the lobby. That's so random. You would never want to do that. But I mean, so be it. So I'm just showing you guys how to like add clips if you want. Nothing too fancy, but yeah. All right, so now for an add screenshot. This is very simple. You just go to your internet browser. You can download in the PS4 store. Um, go to the internet browser, find whatever image you want, then hit add screenshot. And then I've already screenshotted a few things. It's kind of whatever you want. And to screenshot, you only have to hold the share button. Just don't double tap it, just hold it. And they also give you some if you want, like the fire. Just add this. GG's. See, I just got a dub. And that dub was kind of fire. Ha ha, so funny. <laughs> Round of applause for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so cringe. Alright, so. Now we figured out how to do that. So now, boys, if you want to add a track. No, no, sorry. If you want to add music, that's what I meant to say. You can add whatever, they have a list of music that they can give you, um, or you can import from USB. Sadly, I'm not going to make a video on that because for some reason the PS4 doesn't allow you to stream outside your app. You have to stay within the app, like, when I try to go out the app. So I can't really show you guys how to use a USB. Maybe if I get a PC soon, I can help you guys. But for now, you guys will just have to stick to this music. You can kind of use whatever music you want. And then, yeah, so let's just say I wanted to add this music. And there we go. So let's just say, I'm playing. And then the music plays. Okay, so now what you want to do is if you want to hit square. So you can mess with the music. You can either split the music. So let's say just like your clip, you want to split this music. So I just split it there. See, it's not connected. You can kind of see. Split it here. Let's delete this music. Boom. Now the music stops. Dun, 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 dun. I see a guy and the music stops. And then I'm build battling. Music starts again. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy. 
Another way to do it is if you want to say um, music volume, just hit music volume, just turn it down. Pretty simple. I think the music is personally at the perfect volume. I don't think it needs to be turned down. But if you guys want to turn it down, you guys can. Now fade in. This is like, say the music is just starting. So what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to hit fade in. Let's do that all the way. So listen, it will start fading in. See how, see how it faded in? Do you guys hear that? Started out quiet. And same with the fade out. So maybe if you wanted the music to stop at one point, just hit fade out. Do it for five seconds. Confirm. Now listen. Pretty simple. Nothing too fancy. But, um, yeah. So now, you've done all your music. Just hit O. And then, yep, your music's there. See? Once you've edited all the music, it's perfect. So now, what you want to do is hit the X button again. Add transition. So this is a, you split the clip. Let's just split the clip again. Just split it right here. Boop. And... Boop. So now we've split the clip. See, and we don't just maybe you don't want it to just go like that. So now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hit X, add transition. So they give you a list of transitions. Say we wanted to do this one. Watch. And then it shows your next clip. And with the music and with everything, that just is pretty cool. You know, it just kind of like gives it really cool feel. So that's how to um, add transitions into your videos. And then, yeah, I've never really used any of this stuff. It's pretty useless. But um, yeah, that is basically how to use Share Factory 2019. If you guys have any more questions, please guys uh, leave a comment down below and I will try to get to you. Also guys, if you are new to the channel, I would appreciate a subscription. It really helps me out. We are on the road to 600K subscribers. And um, yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, please guys hit that like button, and um, I will see you guys all next time. Peace out, guys.